Hey everyone, it's me, I'm here, and I'm feeling a lot better than last week. I'm feeling better each day, but it's one of those things where, you know, how it's clearly getting better each day, but your brain tells you that it's never going to be over, because it's such a slow process. I'm used to when I get something fevery like this, I'm used to it being over within a couple of days, and this has been... This has been a hell of a couple of weeks. Oh. Oh, I get it. Cheese person, because feta. I understand completely. How's everyone doing? I see Fell3 and Christy and Andy and Alma and Baby. And I think that's everyone so far. So we're going to play more Final Fantasy VIII. I need sugar. I should have put sugar in my coffee, but I don't like sugar in coffee. Probably get some soda in the next couple days. After I get paid. No, thank you. No, that's sugar free. Huh. Pretty much all gum is sugar free nowadays, unless it's like double bubble. Overly worried about the upcoming move, but I'll probably go fine. Yeah, moves are always stressful though. All right, let's let's do this. I've still got all the mods installed, by the way, so we may see some some horror. Like it works most of the time. Just pour yourself a cup of sugar. Alma says, "Hey, that's my diet." All right, I gotta open up the items guide and stuff, huh? So we don't miss anything. I definitely don't want to miss any of the girlfriends. I think our next one is Diablos. Diablos is pretty cool. Oh no, Firefox changed its format and the mobile version is not as efficient as it used to be. Oh, I don't like this new these new tabs. They don't load in previews properly. Oh no, and it didn't actually save my spot on the guide like it used to. Firefox, how did you fuck that up? I have to scroll down on my own like some kind of pleb. Alright, screen, yada yada, training center. Alright, here we are. Oh, here's this fight. I know this old, this, this good old fight. Here we're gonna fight, uh, one of the best creatures, the best named creatures in the game, I should say. I don't think it matters which way we exit. Make sure, make sure Kistis has her junctions set. I guess we can move uh, Quetzalcoatl onto Squall for now. Switch Zell to Squall. No, that's gonna. Yeah, I gotta do it manually. Junction Squall. Uh, I have to move it off of Zell manually. This is so inefficient. Function magic. Sleep is pretty good for magic strength.
switch is activated, but it only lets you switch stuff from both party members back and forth. You can't just move everything from one to another without doing that. The ragtime mouse. Yes, the flaming lips. Gotta love that four-directional movement, apparently. Chance for first strike. I don't remember if this game had analog support. It certainly worked with the joysticks. But that doesn't mean much with how PlayStation 1 games are coded. It doesn't seem to... the movement doesn't seem to be analog on this version at all, because I'm using the joystick here, and I can't get him to walk slowly with it. I have to hold down a button for that. I mean, it depended on the game. Some games could use the joystick but didn't actually have analog support. They just see it as a basic digital D-pad. Because it was all done per game. Come on, Squall! Squall! Squall? Twisty? Kisty? Coosty. Queasy. Queasy. So this is Granaldo. And those little pals down below, those are Raldo. Did I? Oh, I just attacked Squall because the fuck. <laughs> My bad. I would like to point out that this game's targeting system is garbage. Like, way more than any other Final Fantasy game. Hey, we got Shell. Well, Quinoa is in the next game. <laughs> Draw failed. There, you're asleep. Now we take out the little Raldos. Thank you, Christy. I'm having trouble with the trigger again. Now, as far as I know, the Raldos cannot attack without the help of Ronaldo. And I seem to be getting proven right right now. Still didn't get it. But Kistis could do with more attack. That'll happen as we go. You gotta unlock more junctions. Right now, I don't think she has a strength junction.
since Squall has uh, the guaranteed critical hit thing, strength is more constructive on him right now. Especially since he also cannot miss when he attacks. And yeah, the damage numbers are lower at the beginning of this game, though much, much higher later. Um, sure. No, nope, can't stalk any more of that. <clears throat> I think Squall needs to stalk... Uh, Sleep. Because he- I just put that on his magic, huh? There's specific things in this game that go over 9,999, including, like, Eden. Which is very much intended to make those things seem super powerful. Which I guess it succeeds, it's a bit of shock and awe the first time. I was like, wow, I've never seen something do 10,000 damage before. Oh, there's also, the very first thing you see that breaks 9,999 in this game is Jumbo Cactor. Because he very specifically casts 10,000 needles. I'd forgotten all about him. Jumbo Cactar is a very large Cactar, by the way, with a mustache. Ugh. The lag can be anywhere from two seconds to about 30. I recommend refreshing or just hitting pause and re pause and play again if it feels like you're too far behind. The mustache is very important. Sleep, fucker. How <clears throat> much HP does this guy have? Let me see. This guy's got around 1500 HP. It varies because he's just a regular monster later. Oh yeah, this game's got some really great music and some really awful music. The one that stands out as awful the most to me is the Victory Song. Which I didn't even like when they changed it for Final Fantasy VII. And this game's version is so much worse. This guy's not much of a boss, honestly. As long as you can put him to sleep so he can't attack with the Raldos, he's like nothing. Squall knows about timed hits. He's gonna punch your lights out. The conversation at Makeout Point, this is Squall swatting down a wasp, oh no. Here's some wizard stones.
It's not safe here. Please, let's go. All right. Everyone's hands are slightly misshapen with stubby little fingers. Except, except for Kistus. Who is that? Oh yeah, the models in this game look great. Especially in this, uh... Unlike the backgrounds, especially in this remaster. I mean, she could be a white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. Well, it's not like everyone can get by on their own, you know? Says who? Let's see. Finally, there you are! Where the hell were you? I was looking all over the place. We're best friends now, remember? All of a sudden. We're both now members of Seed, right? Well, guess what? We got our own rooms, baby! Your new room's right across the hall from your old one. That's what I was asked to tell you. And it took me forever! Gaston, cut it out chill right now. This is just my old room at a slightly different angle. I'll just go to sleep. Well, it's our first seed mission. Looks like we're gonna going to timber. Meet by the front gate. Hurry! Hey, look. Weapons Monthly. April issue. That was exciting. An improvement in power over the revolver. Shear Trigger uses the same blade as the revolver. But the gun aspect is now more powerful. With the Maverick, the combatant can deliver direct punching blows to the enemy. The gloves are made of black leather and have metal plates on the knuckles. Weapons that can be used from a distance have many advantages. The pinwheel is one of the more basic projectile weapons. Guns have the advantage of range, but damage is less compared to swords. The Valiant uses powerful bullets to cause damage comparable to a sword. Hi, Rez. Ow. Air. 
careful. Sorry about that bang. Dogs. That's enough. One second. Okay, I'm back. And now we shall continue. And walk very slowly. I still can't get over the fact that this remaster has blurred out artifacted backgrounds. So how's it going since that incident? And also runs at 20 to 25 FPS max. Huh, what incident? You were fighting, remember? Fighting? We were never fighting, were we? No? Huh, whatever. I wasn't really worried anyway. So, um... That's a stereotype that I have seen with my own eyes is not actually true. You know, the idea that boys fight and then they're best friends again and girls carry grudges and everyone seems to lean on that? It's complete bullshit. Boys are conniving pieces of shit. Achievement unlocked. First salary. Hmm, salary. Alright. On your way, talk to the guy in the main hall who mentioned something about a card group called the CC. I guess we don't actually have to hear about it. Oh look, there's a ghost. Oh, they don't talk either. They really are a ghost. I want to say I don't know where that, that particular idea about boys and girls comes from, but I know exactly where it comes from. And the answer is literally just one word. Misogyny. Where am I going now? All right. This is where we, uh... The accident. There you go. This is where we get the girlfriend jar. One more minute. Bum 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 bum. I was never really sure if Zell was supposed to be the radical 90s kid or making fun of the radical 90s kid. Made it! Tea boards are prohibited within garden. Have you forgotten? Oh, sorry. But this is really cool. It may come in handy on a seed mission someday. We'll be the judges of that. Both radical and illegal. My kind of board. Confiscate it. All of you are members of Seed, but nevertheless, you are still students at this garden. Furthermore, because you are Seeds, you must set an example for all others and abide by the garden's rules. Understood. Well, about your first mission. I've forgotten Sid's voice already, so I'm assuming that it's just generic, older, kind man voice. I was like, giving up the Dr. Light, but I'm not... I don't know. Maybe. 
I think I think I'm going to go with something very easy. You are to go to Timber. There you'll be supporting a resistance faction. That's your mission. A member of the faction will contact you at Timber Station. This person will talk to you and say, The forests of Timber sure have changed. At this time, you must reply, But the owls are still around! That's the password. Just follow the faction's order. Uh, just us three? Correct. We have agreed to do this mission for very little money. Normally, we would, would never accept such requests, but enough talk about that. Well then, Squall, you're the best squad leader. Use your best judgment based on the situation. Tell and Selfie, you're to support Squall and give your all to carry out the faction's plans. At least we're working for a rebel faction this time. Alright, now... off everything from Kistis, and now I'll just rearrange stuff. Selfie can get... I guess Shiva? Zell... Whoops. I've forgotten my order. Draw Magic Girlfriend. Draw Magic Girlfriend! Items are not super useful in combat, except in very specific situations. So I almost never have that command equipped. Uh, junction fire to magic, there we go. Now his magic strength can be real good. Yeah, like when the big plot twist happens at the end of the first disc and it all goes off the rails, it's a it's a real shame. Actually, if I may actually for a second, <laughs> Zell is set up uh, in in his appearance. Zell is set up to be a martial artist or monk or Master, depending on what game you're playing, which is very much a physical damage, low defense character. Alright, I need to give Kistis' magic over to Selfie. Except that junction. God! Mm. Now Selfie should have the GF and the magic. My little Final Fantasy GFs are magic. Protect is, oddly enough, very good on Vitality. Magic draw GF, or was it draw magic GF? Draw magic GF. There we go. Draw magic girlfriend, right. Oh, and Squall. I forgot to give you this. Oh, they sure did. Thank you, baby. It's a cursed item. But if one with power uses it, it should be of great help. What a nice guy giving us a cursed item. That's the girlfriend jar. It contains a girlfriend.
I just said. Uh-oh. Selfie's broken up. That's sure gonna make this interesting to look at, huh? I guess we're just dealing with it because I don't want to take the trouble of uninstalling the mods and figuring out what the fuck up is. Before you use the magical lamp, be sure to junction well. If you be high level, you can also draw holy and flare, and get four hero items as a reward. Hero grants invisibility to one person in battle for some time. Do not go leveling up just to get these, instead stay a lower level, so you can later on get quick stat boosts from bonus abilities on your GF. So we should do a bit of grinding so that we can get our stats up a bit. So that we can fight Diabolos. There we go. Super fast. It's a happy caterpillar. Hater pillar, there you go. Hit it with your nunchucks. Seriously, this is the worst version of the Victory Song. It's just awful. <laughs> Quistus- oh right, Quistus learns blue magic from items. I forgot all about that, so now she can use a blue magic, and that's... Unfortunately, the blue magic is her limit break, so it's a very limited use. Let's just cast it back. Bite bug. It's a bug monster that flies and bites, I guess. Oh, yeah. I didn't even like the Final Fantasy VII version, like I said. And Final Fantasy VIII is just bizarre and discordant, and just makes me wish I hadn't won the fight. Acceptable, but not good. There you go. You're, you're being more generous to it than I will be. 
When they brought back the original tune for Final Fantasy IX, it was such a relief. So we'll fight Diablos probably after the train scene. There's not really a good reason to fight it right now. Zell punching the bug reminded us of the explanation we saw once for why fighting is bad against bug... Bugs in Pokemon, have you ever tried to karate chop a house fly? <laughs> I've always said, have you ever tried to punch a wasp? Hey, Bad Road. Let's see, what are we learning? Oh right, move find. That's nice. And we're gonna start, uh, adding, like, magic plus 20 and things like that. Because the straight stat boosts are excellent. just berserks the strongest character. I don't think they all learn all junctions, but you certainly have enough GFs to make sure you have three people with every junction. Um, Shiva's still learning strength. It's still learning elemental defense. Alright. Let's at least get the AP for the rest of the stuff. That'll just take a couple of fights. I'm glad the music doesn't increase in speed. Ultra waves. We already learned that. Oh, I miss the big quay birds. Chocobos are great. There's chocobos in this game, right? Only Final Fantasy 1 and 2 have zero chocobos. Okay. Final Fantasy 4 happens on the happens without Moogles and Final Fantasy 5 starts in a place without Moogles and then you move to the place without chocobos and etc. No, Final Fantasy 7 without Moogles was weird. And then they called them Mog because of because that's an easier way to romanize it. Oh, I forgot about Chocobo World. Y'all ever play Chocobo Racing? It wasn't an amazing kart racer by any stretch, but it was surprisingly really fun and competent. No, chocobos are in 
Final F oh, Moogles, you mean, had only appeared in Final Fantasy IV at 6 in the West. That's true. There was a handheld, yes. The uh, pocket station. It was a cute little game. All right, um... No, switch to regular magic, plus 10. We want to raise our characters' stats right now. Because y'all GFs are already very powerful. Strength plus 20. We can also start learning refinement abilities. After we learn the basic stat abilities, we'll move on to refinement. It is compatible with North American PlayStations, yes. I'm under the impression that it had a limited release in maybe Europe, somewhere outside of Japan. Let's see. So this guide expects me to do a lot more grinding than I'm willing to do. This is a guide very much written for young teenagers. Which is good, because that's what this, this game is kind of aimed at. Hey Zell, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? You know me, I'm always good. Good, make sure to stop by and say hi to your mom. You don't need grinding if you have magic refine, yes, which is gonna be what we're gonna get right right up next. Right up the next. Um, we don't have any steel pipes. We don't have enough spider webs and we don't have a dragon fan. Yeah, I have no idea if it's compatible with the PS2 whatsoever. This is not... this is not timber. There's the garden, there's Balam. There's Dole. There's timber. Okay, we gotta take the boat across to timber then. Forgot about that. Or the train? The train boat. The boat train. Yeah, they've got an ocean tunnel. I remember this. I remember how this all works now. Nice to meet you, finally. I've heard a lot of stuff about you. Huh? What stuff? <laughs> Lots of bad stuff. You have every right to worry. Hardly. You're like a legend here. No way. What did he do? Well... I guess he's most known for doing the most grueling pull-ups. See that sign up there? Once he climbed up there and did a hundred pull-ups. Can you imagine that? Yeah, well, uh, what do you guys think about that, huh? I'm trying to impress everyone. I'm insecure. Um... Also, I absolutely adore Selfie's dress. It even has big pockets. 
I think you need some help. Maybe some weed. draw a picture of that fish next to me. That's not a fish, that is a human being. Daddy says he's gonna buy me a lot of blue crayons. Come to the Blue Ballum Hotel where the sea breeze will take you away. How's that for a catch line? Not in a million years would you be able to come up with something better. Please, blow it out your ear. Blow. That's it! Blow! The weird architecture is one of the things I really like about this game. It really paints the world as alien. Ah, uh, what's my next class? Hey, have you heard? Mrs. Din's son passed the seed exam. Really? I wonder how in the world that rowdy boy passed. Does Mrs. Dink know? I'm just gonna call them Dink. Hello, Douglas. Hello, Pfeiffer. Have you come to see my new invention? Have you come to see my hundred push-ups? All right, I can switch on move find and such. Or just move find. Feel like I should probably go see Zell's mom. Nah, she doesn't need to know. Squall has Cure Junction. Dump it on him. I mean, do you really want her to see Selfie like this? Seed contracts are very expensive. That's very true. Oh, Zell, are you off today? Nah, outdoor class. Drop by whenever you can, even just to say hi. I'm not very excitable. Oh no. He's got faces just all over him. Alright, here we are at the station. Oh yeah, well now we can actually start spending money, too. Don't need ammo yet. Should probably buy a thing of fuel, because we will be getting the car soon. It's Carrion again, yes! I am the queen of cards, you're made of cards. So that makes sense. Cancel out of that, that's so weird. The train to Timbers here. Please go inside right away, the train to Timber will be leaving shortly. Trains, trains, trains. This train is awesome! 
A transcontinental railroad, baby! It even runs through an underwater tunnel to get to timber! Pretty cool, huh? Sure is. I guess you're not interested. By the way, Squall, you gotta use the ticket to get inside. Okay, we can go inside now. ID check confirming access granted. I'm gonna go check out the front. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, let's go check it out, Squall. After you. Yo, check it out! So this is Seed's private cabin. Whoa! Oh yeah! Awesome! I love trains. you're so excited. Hey, Xenon. They even have magazines here. You know, magazines. Receive pet pals. Ah, this is pretty damn amazing. It pays to be a member of Seed. Well, you know anything about timber? Not too much. Not so. Well, let me fill you in. <laughs> Timber used to be a country surrounded by deep forests. But 18 years ago, Galbadia invaded. Timber fell pretty easy to Galbadia, so now Timber is under Galbadian occupation. It said there's a whole bunch of resistance factions, big and small. And... Ah, that's it. Thank you, Mr. know it all Zell. Hey, no prob. I'm not feeling too good. Well, if you're gonna throw up, do it outside. I mean, you should get some rest if you're tired. I'm really sleepy. Are you okay? Ah! Ah! What the? Something's wrong with me too. I feel woozy. What's going on? Ugh! What is this? Oh, that's just the gentle motion of the train rocking back and forth. <laughs> what is this element, huh? Oh, yes. Uh, Laguna, are you sure this is the right way? What the, huh? This is Laguna. With Laguna, our ward in Kairos. Kiros? We're gonna go with Kiros. As you can see, they have stats very much in common with our current party. Speaking of which... There we go. Double looks pretty good. We'll put double on there right now. 
Everyone else junctioned up? Good. Also, Ward has the single best run animation of any character ever. Until now. Oh boy. They also get their own combat music. Ward's weapon is also a harpoon. Not like a spear, but an actual bow tarpon. You like their wobbliness? Best quality? Well, now it's sped up. Rude. Guess we're gonna... Oh, no more sleep. Kiros is just napping. Stone with a little magic power. Achieve a level up, Ifrit level up. Oh boy, not again. Something bad happened here, wherever here is. I always thought it was strange that we get to see everyone's inner dialogues during this. Oh my god, Ward, shape up. Hey, how are we here to fight a war? You know, against the almighty Timber Army? Yeah, so why are we wasting our time messing with these animals? Well, you see, that's just, um... Uh, <clears throat> Don't tell me we're lost again. Anyway, we're going home. Daling City, here we come. Wait, Laguna! There's Ward. Ungawar's card. Oh, there's something. Come on. No, there we go. Water. Um, doesn't really matter who draws it. I like how the door isn't moving. Hey! You can't park in the middle of the street. Chill, man, it's cool. Alright then, how about a drink? Whatever, like you drink. We already know you're not in it for the drinking, just admit it already. Yeah, just bring some juice like a weenie. Then gawk at the piano lady. Don't call her piano lady! That's it! Forget it, I'm not going! We know you will. 
Oh yeah, that's what their whole story is about, though. Is that they deserted the army. Now this is very... this music is very much in the style of Final Fantasy IX. Found a car. It's in the way. I mean, technically correct, Bad Road, if you want to be really pedantic. Alright, I guess we're not supposed to go this way. Here we go. Let's get all yakety sacks about it. Got the hots for the penis at the hotel bar. Sure. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick BRB before we do the rest of the scene. I'll be back in a few minutes. Someone hit bang donate, and y'all should check out the links listed there. There are organizations helping protesters who are out on the ground right now fighting for the rights of black and indigenous Americans all across them. All across this nation of ours that they've been denied since this nation's inception at the very least. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back in a few minutes. Black lives matter, indigenous lives matter, and don't forget that.
Hey kids, Kiros here, to talk to you about the danger of playing with too many knives. All right, we'll continue now. Welcome, please step up to the counter. Welcome, without a reservation, I'll need to pay in advance. Thank you very much, please have a pleasant stay. Wow, Kiros just absorbed into Ward there. Thank you very much. We hope to see you back soon. Welcome! Your usual table's ready. I'm gonna walk around. I, uh, as of today, I am assigned to the Engineer Corps. Uh, nice, nice to meet you all. What a joy! No wait, wait. This is the wrong. The guy in red is Biggs. Okay. As it, as of the day. Is that right? Biggs is the one in red, right? What a joyous day for me! Please, everyone, don't try to stop me. I'd like to propose a toast to myself. Listen up, soldiers. I'm Julia's private bodyguard. Better not make a pass at her. Oh no! Huh? Excuse me? What? What's wrong? I... I don't know. What is this? Huh? What's wrong? I'm not quite sure. Wait a second. Is your head buzzing? What, you too? Yeah, ever since we were in Timber. Me too. Hey, we're just tired, that's all. We'll be fine after a drink or two or three. Just shut up, please! Oh no, just get scared every time. Let's take a load off! Thanks! <laughs> Is this a dream? The gun is pretty cute. Well, what's going on? What's happening to him? At ease, men! We're going all out tonight, right boys? May I take your order? The usual. Me too. Keep them coming. So Laguna, Julia should be making her appearance soon. You going for it tonight? Yeah, go for it. Whatever, man. Can't you see she's working? Don't go back on your word. Come on. Go wave to her. Ah, oh, give me a break. So you say, but we know you'll do it. Listen to Julia play on a day like this. Oh, baby, this is turning out to be a lovely night.
Ah, to be this close to Julia. Is this guy serious? Uh-oh. My leg's cramping up. Ah! Sad. No way! I can't bother Julia! I can't bother her! I couldn't possibly do something like that! Like, bother her! Oh! Oh no! Good work, Laguna! Mission successful! Here, have a seat. I didn't think you'd actually do it! Our popularity rating's gone up a point! Yeah, but you've got a pretty pitiful figure up there. I'd say you're about a minus three on the manliness scale. Say what you want. Oh, Julia sure is pretty. Uh. Huh? Laguna, we're taking off. Hey, what, what's the rush? It's on us tonight. Relax and stay a while, Laguna. May I? Did I interrupt anything? No, 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 not at all. Please, there's a uh, sit down. Oh man, it's really her. What do I do? Kiro Sword, help! What do I say? And she is pretty. What is this guy thinking? You okay now? Uh, kind of. How's your leg? Uh, le leg? Oh, this. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Happens all the time when I get nervous. <coughs> no, that's just kind of how a lot of 3D animation looked at this point in time, especially at low frame rates. Were you nervous? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm still kind of... You can relax. You don't have to get nervous around me. Oh, sorry. Huh. Say, would you like to talk somewhere private? I have a room here. In your room? Well, she says, looking directly at the camera. It's pretty hard to talk freely in here. Everyone's listening in, she says, directly at the camera. If you'd like to, please come by. I've been wanting to talk to you. Also, literally everyone in the room is listening in. You don't want to? But, but, but of, course, of course I do! Then I'll go ahead and wait for you. Ask for my room at the front desk, okay? I dreaming? This is a dream. This is a dream. No, this can't be a dream. This is too weird to be a dream. Julia wants to talk to me. He talks to himself too much. That would have been a much more poignant line if uh, we still got Squall's inner monologues like in the original script. 
And just the two of us. Get it together, Laguna. Whatever. I always screw up by talking about myself too much. It's always been like that, but not tonight. I am all ears for Julia. Ah, time to use my manly charm and help Julia with her problem. We're all listening in together. I'm afraid it is for hotel guests only. But then how do I get to Julia's room? Which is he really going? Ah, Mr. Laguna Lore. I've been expecting you. Let me show you to Ms. Julia's room. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Uh, no, not at all. Thank you for inviting me. Have a seat. Have a seat, and I'll just stand here awkwardly. Going so soon, we haven't even talked yet. No, it's not that, it's just I'm a big fan of yours, so I'm really kind of nervous, you know? So that's why you come to hear me play so often. You said you saw me. You were always smiling while listening, right? You have beautiful eyes, though they look a bit scared now. Don't worry, I'm not gonna pluck them and eat them. I just wanna talk. Gazing into those eyes. She horny. Would you like a drink? Wine, perhaps? I must be dreaming. Yeah, I don't like fighting too much, but you get to travel, you know, seeing new places and stuff. And it's fun, because Kiros and Ward are always with me. Hey, we should all go out drinking sometime, what do you say? And, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, so I want to quit the army and become a journalist, so I can tell people about all the things I've seen in my travels. He has already loosened up. So, like, the other day, one of my articles made the readers call him. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that was way cool. I'm happy for you. Oh, yeah, and then... I'm sorry, I didn't know wine made you sleepy. <laughs> you look adorable when you're asleep. I don't know, I can't make out what's happening with that picture, with that model. Like, is his head clipped through the headboard? Like, that's not a mod error right there. That's not like all the texture is fucked up. Ah, oh, how'd I fall asleep? Oh, there's his head. Yes? I must have fallen asleep talking on like that. Tell me about yourself, like, uh, your dreams for the future. That's a good point, Mox. I... I want to sing. Not just play the piano, but sing, too. Oh, I'd really love to hear it. 
But I can't. I'm no good at writing lyrics. Oh, huh, that must be tough. But thanks to you, I think I can come up with something. Thanks to me? Yeah. The many faces you've shown me. Times when you were hurt, worried, felt pain deep inside you, your smile, your face, your eyes. You've shown me something. I think I can come up with a song. Oh, wow, I must be dreaming. Not a dream, is it? Laguna, new orders. Meet by the presidential residence on the double. Can we meet again? Of course. Gotta come hear you sing. Next stop, Timber. Timber. Were we all asleep? Ah, uh, maybe someone released some sleeping gas. There's lots of people who resent seed. Maybe. Better be careful. Am I missing anything? Anyone hurt? Check out her cool Uggs. I don't think so. What a relief. Everything's cool with me. <laughs> I had such a nice dream. I had a dream too. What nice though. I dreamt I was a moron. We'll be arriving in Timber shortly. For those getting off, please be sure you have all of your belongings. But seriously, Sir Laguna was so cool. Hey, uh, there was a Laguna in my dream too. He's a Galbadian soldier, right? Laguna, Kiros, and Ward. Huh? That's it? That's what? There's no way we can understand this. Let's just concentrate on our first mission. Guess you're right. We'll put this incident on hold. I'll report it to the headmaster once we get back to the garden. You should be there soon, huh? There we go. Psych yourself up, baby! Still sleepy. Your Zell is becoming more Dick Vitale with each baby. That was my intent. I'm glad it came across. Alright, now we gotta find someone who talks about forest owls. Oh, the forest of timbers sure have changed. But the Moogles are still here! They're not, though. 
Welcome to Timber, sir. Come with me. No, we're going into the pet shop. On vacation? That's not fair. My Georgie's in there. I hate this pet shop. Seriously, they went on vacation and just left the kid's dog in the... That's real shitty. That's beyond shitty. That's negligent. How's Timber been treating you? Please, please, this way, sir. Raiders! That's basically illegible in the original version. So you guys are seeds. I'm the squad leader Squall. This is Zell and Self. I don't like either of them particularly. Nice to meet you. I'm the leader of the forest owls. Doesn't even go for a handshake with Zell. <laughs> so let's get on with it. What do we do? Just take it easy. Here, let me introduce you. Looks like you already met Watts. He's not a dwarf. Guess it's just our princess then. It's the princess's nap time, sir. Oh, man. Hey, Squall, sorry, but can you go get the princess? She's in the last room up the stairs. Some of our other guys are in the room on the way. Ask them if you get lost. Total strangers could, uh... Could you go get the linchpin of our whole operation? Were we hired to run errands? Well? Uh, are you angry? I can't tell, you're so blank. We're not gophers, we're seeds, special forces. This is the last time for this kind of thing. Ah, whoa, 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 wow. Oh, my stomach. The sound of the train moving, it's so relaxing. They did not bother to pose me particularly well. What? You're gonna wake the princess? You got some guts, man. Our princess is in the room farther down. from the party. I'm real hungover. So does that mean you're a seed? I'm Squall, squad leader. There's two others with me. <gasps> yes, seed is here. Take it easy. It's just that I'm so happy. I've been sending requests to garden forever, but nothing. I'm so glad I spoke to Sid directly. Oh. So you were looking for the headmaster at the party. You know Cypher? Yeah, technically. 
Well, he's the one who introduced me to Sid. Sid is such a nice man. I really don't think Seed would come out to help a measly little group like us. But after explaining our situation to him, Sid gave me the go-ahead right away. Now that you guys are here, we'll be able to carry out all kinds of plans. Yes. I'm going back to the others. Okay, let's go. Um... Squall, is he here? He? Cypher. No, he's not a seed. Oh. Also, he's a huge dick. Oh, yeah, my name's... Renoa. Renoa. Very pleased to meet you, Squall. Seed members dance quite well, don't they? Approach your target inconspicuously at a dance party. There may be missions requiring this sort of subterfuge. It's expected of a seed to learn various skills. Oh, so it's work-related. Huh, it's too bad. Here, let me introduce you. This is my partner, Angelo. Angelo is really smart. Here, let me tell you. Renoa's Limit Break uses Angelo. The tricks Angelo can learn are listed on the status screen. The fourth status screen lists all the tricks that Angelo can learn. The gauge to the right indicates how much has been learned. When the gauge is full, the trick has been learned. If the gauge is not full, the trick has not yet been learned. To learn a new trick, Move the cursor to the trick name and press A. And that's a walking. You get XP from a walking and you learn new ones from pet pals. Alright. This is the one where the dog is a gun, yes. Smart, huh? I have some important work to do now. Be good, Angelo. Okay, I'll meet you there. to learn the next one we go we can just all right there's like 18 item pages welcome to pet pals we bring the latest pet news to dog lovers your dog learns a trick to damage enemies in this issue your dog comes to your rescue when you're in grave danger it's called angelo strike named after a specific dog as you dog lovers already know, walk with your dog to help him learn this trick! Now it should be listed. Yeah. The dog is a gun that fires itself. This is Zell. You don't have to like him. And Selfie. You really don't have to like her either. Hi, everyone. This way.
Well, sure, just don't tell Squall. Just stand anywhere you want. This is a full-scale operation. Our resistant, the Forest Owls, will forever... will be forever known in the pages of Timber's Independence. Exciting, huh? It all started when we got hold of top secret info from Galbadia. Oh, I got the info, sir! There's a VIP from Galbadia coming to Timber. Soup butter VIP! This guy's name is Vincer De Ling, our archenemy and the president of Galbadia. Vincer De Ling is a scoundrel! He's a dictator, not a president, not even popular in Galbadia, sir! President De Ling is taking a private van from the Galbadian capital. Our plan is to... Blow it to smithereens with a rocket launcher! Uh, not quite. So, get to the point. Just tell us what to do. Shall we begin? First, I'll go over the model. The yellow train on the top right is our base. We're riding it in right now. We're riding in it right now. Right next to it is the dummy car. We made it look just like the president's car. Except a completely different color in the model. Their train has three cars. First, there's the locomotive followed by the first escort. The red car is the president's car. Dealing should be inside. The last car is the second escort. Once we get on this one, we begin the operation. Our ultimate goal is to seize the president in his car using our base. That means we'll have to switch our dummy car with their president's car. We'll use two switch points leading up to the up to timber to carry out this operation. Okay, now I'm going to explain the procedures in seven steps. This makes it sound like you're going to have to do any of this. We'll get on the roof of our second escort by jumping from our dummy car. The second escort car is the only one that's equipped with sensors, sir. Proceed cautiously across the roof of the second escort. A high-tech officer is on board. We'll talk about the sensors later. Proceed across the roof to the president's car. We can move across the roof of the president's car without worrying too much. Dealing hates the company of his guards and being surrounded by sensors and keeps them away from his car. Uncouple the first escort car. We'll have to... We'll have to complete uncoupling before the first switch point. If we don't... Boom! Game over, right? Yeah. So we'll have to move fast. I'll explain the uncoupling process later. Multi-track drifting, yep. Have the dummy car in our base move in after uncoupling. We'll have the dummy car in our base move in. At this point, our train and their train will be linked and be moving together. Don't worry, no one will notice. Uncouple the second escort car. This is the last uncoupling. The process will probably be similar to the first one. Escape with the president's car and our base. If all goes well, we should be able to escape with the president's car. After that, we'll return to our base and prepare to confront Daily. We have exactly five minutes to complete the seven procedures. If we fail, our train will collide with theirs at the switch point, and it'll be all over. Don't forget that. Five minutes? You sure that's enough? According to the simulation we ran, it should only it should take only three minutes to complete the operation. It's a good thing that uh, y'all were. It's a good thing you all were a part of that simulation, huh? Oh wait. Of course, too easy. Okay, now let's talk about how to avoid the sensors on the second escort. Go ahead, Watts. The guards have a sound sensor and a temperature sensor, sir. Any sound will trigger the sound sensor, so move across very quietly, sir. The blue guard is carrying the sensor. The temperature sensor will go off if you remain stationary, sir. The guard in red is carrying this one, sir. When a guard opens the blind, that means he's checking the sensor, so be careful. The range on these sensors is equal to the length of one window, so keep an eye on the window below, sir. 
Oh, exactly how do you avoid them? Stop if there's a blue guard below you, run if there's a red guard below you. So the opposite of how you would expect it. Uh, basically, run or stop depending on which guard's below you. And that's about it for the sensors. Next, let's talk about how to uncouple the escort cars. Question, how can you uncouple the cars from a moving train? Um, we can't uncouple the cars directly. Instead, we'll have to tamper with the control system that manages the coupling. If we temporarily disable the circuit for the connection, the car will uncouple automatically. To disable it, we have to enter several codes. And we have those codes! Renoa has them, sir. I'll be in charge of relaying the codes to Squall. Squall, you'll slide down to the side of the train using a cable and enter the codes into the system. Now I need you to listen carefully. Each code is made up of numbers 1 to 4 and has 4 digits. 2, 3, 4, 1 is an example. So clockwise starting on the right. But the keypad won't have numbers, instead it'll have 4 buttons. For instance, if I reload, relay the code 3124, you'll hit XBAY. Why not just say XBAY in that order? You'll have to be quick and precise. You'll have about five seconds to enter each code. Otherwise, the code will change and the past entries will become invalid. So, like we said, you have to enter all the codes to disable the connections. After we uncouple the cars, we'll wait for the others to operate the rail switch. Remember, we only have five minutes to do everything, so make sure you're prepared. Okay, let's try practicing entering the code. Enter three codes, and you'll be finished. If you want to quit, hold down the left bumper. Code one confirmed. Code 2 confirmed. We got it? In the real thing, there's a strict time limit leaning up to the point switch point. Don't forget that. Uh, that's all. By the way, this model's nice, but the president's car looks kind of shabby. Why is that? Oh, Renoa made it. That's why we bought everything else at the gift store. Oh, I thought some kid made it. The paint job sucks, too. Huh, yeah, it kind of does. Oh, shut up. Made it look like that on purpose. Represents my hatreds toward dealing. Hatred, eh? <laughs> yeah, right. It's one of the ugliest things I've ever seen in my life. You must really hate him. <laughs> Are you guys finished? Enough about the model. Can we move on with it now? The codes were terrible on the first PC release because it gave you the controller driver's button designation, which were marked on the face which were not marked on the face of the buttons. Oh no. <laughs> Let's decide on the party. Gathering information's my specialty, sir. Oh my stomach. We're moving again. I'll go take a look. Talk to Watts when you're ready. The sooner the better. Hey, check it out. It's Agent Smith. There's a clipping from a magazine. Anarchist Monthly, first issue. Galbadia's dictator, President Vinzer Dealing Special. How does he stay in power? We reveal his darkest secrets. Oh, my stomach. Let's go hit the save point. And this next scene is actually very long, and I don't want to go over at the moment too far, so we're going to save that for next week. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Tomorrow is Katie with Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Sunday is Community Day. And Monday, I'll be back with Christy for Doom 2016. Tuesday will be Andrea with 
Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, and Wednesday will be Sue with more Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, hit bang donate in the chat, and then I'll show you those organizations helping protesters on the ground right now. Black Lives Matter and Indigenous Lives Matter, and we need to keep saying it for as long as it takes for that to be, you know, generally accepted, especially amongst those in power. Uh, we have a YouTube, we have a schedule, they'll be listed in chat, and we have a stream team who are listed below here on the page at truck.community. All of those are great streamers who you should go and follow right the heck now. And, um, yeah, however you uh, choose to support us, we thank you very much. Y'all are the reason we can keep doing this week after week after week after week. Oh. And hopefully we'll feel better within the next few days, because, wow, it has been a drag. I'm glad we've been able to continue streaming. It's nice to be able to work from home like this. Oh, and there is that. Wow, that's that. That finishes up our bit goal. Thank you so much for 400 gay bits, Andy. All right. And I think I think that's everything. So thank you for your support bits, subscriptions, just watching, chatting, lurking. It's all very important, and we will see you next time. Good night, everyone.